For today's time lapse, I'm at a baseball field. Just finished coaching my son's team and I thought I would set up here. I mean, it's pretty beautiful, right? Check out the mountains and the clouds here. For this time lapse, I want to focus on my post process. What do I do after I've taken the pictures? I will show you how to make a time lapse better than mine. Like that's possible. I've taken the pictures and I'm ready to put the time lapse together. The two pieces of software I use are LR Time Lapse and Lightroom. You can get both for free. However, there are some limitations. On LR Time Lapse, you have to use less than 400 pictures, and Lightroom, you can do a 30 day trial for free. This is LR Time Lapse, and the first thing I need to do is import the images from my card. So here's the Moonrise. I'm going to create a subfolder, and I'm going to call it Moonrise. I want to import it to my desktop. This takes a while, so let's come back and check it. Once that's done importing, we're going to go to the Visual Workflow tab. Make sure you've selected the folder, press Keyframes Wizard, then press Save, and then drag this to Lightroom. Make sure it says Add up here, and import those pictures. While it's importing, you can set up a filter. Go down here and select LRT4 keyframes. These are the keyframes we created over here. You can see by this blue dot. And we're going to go ahead and edit these pictures. First thing I'm going to do is change the aspect ratio and crop it. I also want that crop to apply to the other photo. So I press sync and I make sure crop is selected here. LR time lapse will not support these, so don't have any of those selected. Press synchronize. Now I'm going to select the first picture and I'm going to adjust different settings like exposure and contrast until I get a picture that I like. Then I'll select the second picture and do the same. Once I have the pictures how I want, I'll press G to go to grid view. I'll select all and then I will save metadata to the files. Back in LR time lapse, I'll click reload, then auto transition, and save. Next, I'm going to click on visual previews. This generates a preview of what it will look like when done. This takes a little while. Now that the preview is done, we can play it and check it out. That looks pretty cool. So, sometimes when I'm shooting a time lapse, I'll use aperture priority mode, and that changes the, that keeps the aperture fixed, but changes the shutter speed, and that can make a flicker happen. So, I'll press the visual D flicker, and I can change this slider, and that will tell me how much do I want to reduce the flicker by. You don't want to go too crazy and go just straight across like that. You want to follow the general trend of the line. A lot of times, whatever the default value is for the slider will work really well. So I'll press apply, and then when I press save, it's going to create new previews. All right, let's check out that preview and see if we like it better. Looks pretty good. So the next step is to export the video or to render it. To do that, we go back to Lightroom and right click on one of the pictures and say, select go to folder and library. Then select all of the images and go to metadata, read metadata from files. You get a progress bar up here. Once that's done, we can render the pictures. All right, now select export. And then with the free version, you can only do this, JPEG original. And then select where you want it to output to, where you want it to save. 
and then name it. I'll keep it Moonrise and select Export. This takes a while. Once that's done, a window will pop up for the export options for LR time lapse. I'm going to do a 1080p and I'm going to do 30 frames per second. And I have where I want it selected to go into the Moonrise folder, so I just press render video. And that's it. Let's check the video out.